We all know that we are supposed to be living a holistically healthy life. We're supposed to be incorporating all different aspects of who we are and how we exist. However, it's very difficult sometimes to do that, especially if you're looking for practitioners who can work with you, doctors who can work with you to help you learn exactly what these different holistic modalities are and how they can serve you. That's why I'm so excited to be talking to my good friend and colleague, Dr. Medea Saeed today, Saeed, sorry. So Dr. Saeed wrote this fabulous book, The Holistic Rx, Your Guide to Healing Chronic Inflammation and Disease. And here's the thing, I've been reading this book, I'm about halfway through it. I'm currently in the section on gastroenterology. I have learned so much from this book. This is something that belongs on every family's reference resource bookshelf. It really does. So we're going to start. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her first, and then we're just going to dive in and have a great conversation. So Madea Saeed, MD, also known as Holistic Mom MD on social media, is a practicing board certified family physician in the U.S., an international speaker and a best-selling author. Her best-selling book, The Holistic Rx, a, Your Guide to Healing Chronic Inflammation and Disease. She also has a best-selling children's book series, Adam's Healing Adventures, The Chronic Prescription, Unlocking the Secrets to Optimal Health, and The Holistic Rx for Kids. She's a very prolific author, and her work is amazing. Dr. Saeed is the Director of Education for Documenting Health and Know Well. She sits on multiple medical advisory boards, in be, including being the president of Nagamia. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nagamia Institute of Islamic Medicine and Sciences. It was formerly known as the International Institute of Islam, Islamic Medicine. And she also is part of Wellness Mama. Dr. Saeed and her children speak internationally in the most prestigious holistic conferences, summits, TV, radio, newspaper. She is a regular on the international Emmy-winning medical talk show, The Dr. Nandy Show. And then her kids also have a show. I'm going to have to have them on too. The Holistic Kids Show, which is a podcast, and they interview a lot of people in the holistic and integrative medicine world, helping children, empowering them to learn and know and do more. Dr. Saeed, thank you so much for being here. It has been my absolute honor. Thank you so much for having me. I love, you know, when we spent time together, specifically a couple of months ago, it was like a time for healing for me. And so now you've literally become that soul sister for me. So thank you so much for being here in my life. I can't thank the universe that enough for bringing me into my life. Well, I too, I'm so grateful for that time that we got to spend together. Absolutely. And, you know, I think one of the things that I absolutely love as practitioners, sometimes we feel like we're operating in a bubble mm -hmm. and it's very challenging <laughs> when we're trying to support and help other people to be in that bubble. And so when we can connect with others, it's wonderful. And then learning about your book and getting a copy of it was just amazing. You have so much information in here. And you were telling me before, before we hopped on this interview, you were telling me it took you four years to research this book. Oh, absolutely. Because remember, they don't teach us this in medical school. <laughs> this is not stuff. But then I myself was dealing with lupus and Hashimoto's and digestive issues and chronic skin conditions and eczema and acne, severe dermatitis, severe digestive issues where I had to put like a steroid suppository up just to go to the bathroom. Like I was miserable. And so I, and then I'm like, this is not the way to live. There has to be another way. And so that's where trying to look and research this myself and obviously, as a family physician, I don't see just one ailment. I see ailments from your eyes, your ears, your nose, your throat, your tummy, your mood, you know, so we see everybody in all these demographics and all these chronic health conditions. So I really needed a place for, for me to start because I had multiple chronic health conditions and I couldn't read like, you know, I mean, I obviously read these books, but the thing is, as in like, I couldn't like, I could not imagine that if I wasn't a family physician, how I would be able to start 
where would I be able to start with my healing journey, especially if doctors are not regularly taught this. So that's where I, um, as a family physician, I wanted to create a resource of holistic healing. So then no matter what age or demographic, no matter what you're dealing with, that somebody can pick up a book and have hope. And so that's why I created this resource to, uh, called the Holistic RX. That uh, this is the holistic prescription from a medical doctor that you can do as an adjunct to your conventional care, no matter what you may be doing. And I love that because like you said, first of all, you know, I just deal with the food. I'm all about what's in and on what we eat and helping people. And that's confusing enough to find that's difficult Mm -hmm. enough. I can't even imagine having to delve deeper into chronic health issues, especially if you're going through it and you don't have a medical background, learning how to delve into all of that research and find everything. And one of the things that I so appreciate about this book is all of the different modalities that you cover. Can you talk about why you chose to to go that broad and that deep into what you put together? Absolutely. You know, when I was going through my chronic conditions, specifically the lupus, and then I had joint pain and chronic fatigue and then the digestive issues. Mm-hmm. I went to doctor to doctor, despite being a physician, despite that, you know, my siblings being physicians, I went to doctor to doctor to try to figure out, okay, what can I do to give myself like some hope here? And I felt like we were only given one modality of treatment, like either, okay, here's surgery, or here is a prescription. And, and those prescriptions actually led to, um, you know, side effects like may cause death. And I'm like, that's what I'm trying to prevent here. Right? How am I supposed to like go to a medication that may cause death when, when that's what I'm trying to prevent? It just doesn't make any sense. To me. And I feel like I lost hope in that time. I'm like, really? Is this literally? Because every specifically with the lupus, which I knew it was a disease that can eventually kill me. And I was given, you know, in residency while I was trying to look for answers. You're just going to have to sit back and let this disease take its course. And I was like, that's not hope. That's not healing. That doesn't make any sense to me. So that's when I had to put this this book together that give people hope back. But guess what? There's so much that you as a practitioner, as a patient, as a parent, as, you know, a sibling, whatever you are, you can do today to help you adjunct your conventional care. There's so much that we can do. And then when you add all of these beautiful tools in your tool belt, there lies the hope. Yeah. And once you understand the underlying root cause of why you're dealing with the underlying, you know, so that chronic condition, like which is chronic inflammation. So I, start, I do start off with, you know, giving people the foundations of good health. Sure. And that's your digestive health and detoxification and the four S is stress, sleep, social, and spiritual health. But then I'm like, that's not it. There's still so much more. There's like acupressure, there's acupuncture, there's, you know, um, the aromatherapy, there's homeopathy, there's so much more. And And that's that's where I wanted to put, show people that there's so much hope in that. When I didn't get the hope, I wanted to give people the hope that I didn't get. And so, and, and, and this does, and people have come to me that, oh my gosh, this is really showing us that this is not just the only option. There's so much more that we can. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about this book, because like you said, it's covering all these different modalities, because like you, you know, I was diagnosed with multiple autoimmune disorders. And my, my joke was, if there was an IST, I had it, cardiologist, rheumatologist, endocrinologist, and none of them talked to each other. And they all only wanted to work within their own little window. And it, it, I wish I'd had this book. (laughs) back then, because I think it would have shortcut a lot of my journey back towards health. A a lot of what I needed was to change my diet and, and to make those kinds of changes. But you talk about things like homeopathy and you not, you don't just say, Oh, homeopathy, like here's a chapter on homeopathy for every single condition. You talk about homeopathic remedies, why you might want to use them, 
But there's also information here if someone wants to then go find someone that they can work with who can incorporate some of these or aromatherapy, talking about which are the essential oils that are beneficial, um, supplements, talking about parasites, all kinds of things like you just really go so deep into this. I also feel like this is something that one of the reasons this would have been so helpful because you are an MD and it is a book, I would go in as a patient to my doctor and I would say, Hey, I just read this thing or whatever. And they go, Oh yeah. You know? But I think if I'd come in and said, Hey, there's this doctor, this MD who wrote this book, they would have paid a lot more attention. Do you find that that helps people advocate more for themselves because you're giving them the authority to be able to go and say, yes, this is part of what I want to try or to incorporate. Absolutely. And that's where, um, for me, that was really important because unfortunately, I mean, I don't know that the culture is such where, you know, the doctor, especially in what we were growing up, the doctor has that say, has that authority, the physician, uh, the medical physician, and a lot of people do, you know, put, you know, spotlight their opinions. But unfortunately, and this is what I needed to really bring out there is that doctors don't have all these answers. Mm -hmm. And this is why this is the, something that you can then use from another medical doctor to your medical doctor. <laughs> that you, Cause obviously, you know, naturopaths, everybody else will know it. It was specifically really for the medical world. Um, because they, they, we believe like in residency, we were taught that um, anybody that came to us using Dr. Google, mm -hmm. basically those are our worst patients. We don't wanna see you. Mm -hmm. So we have the answer, we have all of the answers. And if this is not what you prefer, then you can go see someone else. It's really the, the paradigm that we were taught and the way that we were taught to address patients. And once I started to talk to them more and I wanted to understand and when I started learning, I'm like, there's so much more here. So, right. I mean, even in just residency, I learned that actually everybody in my family is a homeopath. Like all my aunts and uncles are homeopaths. Wow. So they are all, and then the, all this next generation all became medical doctors. And so I actually, to, in order to honor my grandfather, I became a homeopath and I started using it. I just did it just mostly to honor him. And then when I actually started using it, I'm like, oh my God, there's so much here that we can actually use. There's limited side effects. I mean, there really no side effects. There's no drug interaction. So why aren't we using this as an adjunct to conventional care? So really bringing this then to the medical practitioner and showing them there's so many things as, as an adjunct that you as a, as a patient can then go back to your doctor and say, this book has been written by a medical doctor. Check this all out. And I try to keep it really evidence-based and, um, and show them that there, again, there's so much more that we can actually do. Because again, doctors are not taught any of this. Yeah. And we yeah. have been told that this is all, like basically this medicine is really the only modality of treatment, but there's so much that we can do. There, there is, there's so much more. And, and actually that's one of the other things that I love. Like you said, in the beginning of the book, you talk about self-care, you talk about the, the need to make sure that you're getting good sleep, that you're taking care of your spiritual side. You know, I think one of the biggest problems so many people run into, if we are a confusing case for the doctor at some point, and this happened not only to me, but many of my clients have shared this with me as well. At some point, your doctor looks at you and goes, well, maybe you should talk to someone, which is like the most horrifying thing. Because it's like, I'm not making this up. I'm not, I'm not dealing with some kind of mental health issue, except Absolutely. for the fact that I'm, I'm really stressed or overwhelmed because of what's happening to me, but that is not the whole answer. And so I love that you incorporate this ability to help people learn how to go internally and incorporate that other aspect of holistic health. Can you talk a little bit more about why you felt that was important to include? We are mind, body, soul. Our children are mind, body, soul. So unfortunately, going through medical school, residency, we were ignoring the soul part. You know, we touched barely on the mind, you know, it just basically made it, you know, part of this pieces again, just we just compartmentalized everything. We'd never put it together as a whole. 
And as, um, you know, someone who is spiritual and knows that that's a huge piece of my life, I recognize, I mean, just taking a look at the world around us, we recognize that, oh my gosh, this is one piece that nobody wants to touch with a 10 foot pole is the spiritual spirituality part of it. And I was like, I didn't understand why, even though, again, in medical school, we were not taught that. And even just trying to keep it to like, you know, gratitude. For me, I started practicing gratitude, you know, as I was younger and I continued to um, Im- implement that in some forms in my life. But when I started implementing it in my patients, that's when I'm like, this is ridiculous. This is craziness. Well, this is so powerful. This is probably over the last 15 years of me practicing medicine was probably the most powerful thing that I could have actually taught my patient was gratitude. Because remember, yeah. gratitude is an emotion that expresses appreciation. And it's a universal concept in all different spiritual traditions. And when you actually, in the feelings of gratitude, the spiritual is then expressed, and it's experienced. And 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 just that just that practice can help you change inner circuit circuitry. And then even because our brains are plastic, and it can really change us. So giving thanks to either like a supernatural power or a benefact benefact benefactor or anything else of the nature um, is probably the most effective way to touch your soul. And so um, for me, and like when you look at all the studies regarding that and how it really helps to, you know, lower inflammation and it turn your genes on and off and it helps you to change your subconscious from instead of thinking negative all the time to thinking positive, because remember your subconscious is nothing but, you know, neural pathways that have been established in the brain as, as a result of past beliefs and conditioning. So we can then try to change that. And then when we change that, so the subconscious are so powerful that when these subconscious negative thoughts can actually undermine your health, while positive thoughts can actually then boost the immune system and heal the disease. These are simple things. I know I remember one of my first patients was a 31-year-old with nine autoimmune diseases. Oh, wow. and she didn't have a lot of money. Um, she worked at the family dollar store and she worked at a gas station part-time. So those were her jobs. And she, she really came to me. She goes, I I would like to just start somewhere where it's cost-effective. You know, what can I do to help all of my ailments, nine different autoimmune diseases, myasthenia gravis, psoriasis, like it's planus, Sjogren's, Hashimoto's, like the list goes on and on. And I started with this was the first and primary source. And she probably saw even without even changing her diet and her lifestyle at first, it was one of the most powerful things that she contrib- like added into her lifestyle to make a profound change. And then she was actually in that position to even take on other changes. Because remember, there's two main pieces of your decision-making. It's your prefrontal cortex and your amygdala. Your prefrontal cortex is responsible for your rational decision-making, while your amygdala is irrational, fight and flight type of decision-making. You need both of these to make a rational decision. Because all of us are we're li- basically living in balanced lifestyles, it's basically hijacking our prefrontal cortex, make, allowing us to make more limbic system-driven decisions, erratic, irrational, you know, fight and flight type. So one of the most powerful things that I've seen and researched is that once we are able to add gratitude back in and connect with our spiritual soul, we are able to solidify those connections between the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala. So therefore we're using the whole brain to make a rational, logical decision. And now they're Mm -hmm. in a better position to make those decisions about changing their diet and their lifestyle and stress managing and all of those other, because if they're just stuck in a place of pessimism and negativity and I can't accomplish anything and you know their subconscious is negative due to past beliefs and conditioning just by gratitude you can change that entire thing around it's probably the one of the most powerful things that I incorporate and the most cost effective <laughs> definitely the most cost effective and you're right it's so powerful because there's so much out there that focuses on the eat this way exercise that way, do these things. And I'm not dismissing any of that. Those are very powerful and they make huge changes, but they forget that other piece, that other holistic piece. 
Dr. Saeed, this has just been amazing. You've shared so much wonderful information with us and I'm truly deeply grateful that you wrote this book. I'm going to show it one more time so that people can see. Folks, you have to buy this book. I will put the link down below, but The Holistic Rx, you need it on your bookshelf. And I'm so grateful that we are able to chat with each other and that you came on to share. If someone wanted to learn more about you, how would they connect with you? So on social media, I'm Holistic Mom MD and Holistic Urdu MD, as I've started also a social media channel with my mother-in-law. And then I have my, all my books currently working on number seven about gratitude and um, and eight, seven and eight simultaneously, actually. <laughs> But then I actually have a, 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 a ch the children's version of that one is called the Holistic RX for kids parenting healthy yeah. brains and bodies in a changing world. And that also, again, very similar to the first book. Um, and then we started a children's book series, Adam's Healing Adventures. Um, and this is where I'm working on the gratitude. So this is the from sickness to health. And then this one is the power of rainbow foods. Gratitude is coming. Okay. And um, and then for the Muslim world, I have all of those books that are also going to be available soon. That is so wonderful. It was fabulous to spend time with you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all you do. And folks, please click like, subscribe down below, check out the links, and we will be back with more great videos soon. Bye, folks.